Jewel and Skizzard were first at Moore play with Jerome at the he lost his, his uh, brother, Lord, who will encourage him and donate him and touch him in his physical body, Lord, and in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.
You didn't have to do it, but you did, Jesus. And for that, I am so ever grateful to you, Lord. Lord, we just want to thank you for waking us up today. Because you didn't have to do that either, Lord. Lord, you've been so good to us. You've been so good to us. I said, Lord, you've been so good to us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We lift you up. Thank you for your presence. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thanks to the Lord.
know, sometimes uh, the, the, the beauty of getting old is, is <laughs> I'm getting ready to tell you the beauty of getting old. That's all right. Okay. Yes. When, you, when you grow old, you, you learn how to read a little bit. We still get the victory. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They didn't hear me, Sister Jesse. I said, we still get the victory. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we do. Amen. Thank you.
give us a special blessing through your Holy Spirit. Open our spiritual eyes, open our spiritual ears, that we might see and hear what you have for us today in the Word of God. We ask that you bless those families that are burdened, bless those that are in route and running behind schedule, bless those that couldn't be here for whatever reason. We ask that you bless the pastor's family in a special way, give them wisdom and understanding the scriptures that you would bring to us today. We ask these things in Jesus' name and for his sake, amen. 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 Good to see you out there, Brother Randy. Amen. I just got to say that uh, my, my brother right here, he, 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 he's another hype guy for the Lord, full of Jesus. I, love, I just love him when he comes, he gets it. He's a cowboy. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing to be able to come together and fellowship. Amen. God, God is so good. God is so good. I just want to wow. Uh, yeah, I'm just so, so beside Sister Monica. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you,
By the way, did I say thank you, Jesus?
sick from the shut-ins of war in our government. We had Biden and Harris and uh, we have the, the teachers and the kids that were going back to school. Certificate also for the models of Paul Grants. Also, I have the address to where the bus is leaving tomorrow, okay? and the same address is where you're going to pick them up on Friday. The bus is leaving tomorrow at 12:30 from 2235 Stelzer Road, Columbus, United Faith International Baptist Church. I am going to the bus. I have one passenger. I have room for three more passengers. So if anybody wants me to take the kids to the bus, I could be here at 11.45 tomorrow and I have room for three more kids. They could ride with me to the bus if you don't feel like going to the bus. Also, as far as the um, equipment needed for the trip tomorrow, it's basic stuff. They say sleeping bags. The reason is sleeping bags, everybody has bed, but the bed just has plastic on it. So they just want something to cover the plastic, so a sheet or you know, a heavy sheet, sleeping bag, as for, as well as, you know, basic other stuff, towels, washcloths, you know, soap, stuff like that. It's all listed here, I'll hand them out to whoever needs them. And um, the pastor told me to announce, if there's any children that are in need of any of the equipment or supplies for tomorrow, Please contact me or the pastor immediately after church today because the bus is leaving tomorrow and the church will supply those equipment for the kids. Amen. 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 So, again, I have this all printed out. So, whoever needs it, please come see me. I will give you the list of the equipment if you need it, the address if you need it. The camp rules and regulations. Also, please note the boys, no cell phones. No cell phones. We want to just get that distraction away from the kids. Okay, there is a landline which is printed out that in the case of emergencies, you need to contact your children. If the children need to contact you for whatever reason, there is a landline they can call and you can get in contact with the children. I'm, I'm going to be a mentor there. I will be going to the bus like I mentioned. Unfortunately, I have some uh, obligations to do Monday and Tuesday, but I will be up there on Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Amen. Being a mentor, I am allowed to carry my cell phone. But I uh, understand that's uh, coverage there is because it's out of the woods. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a signal or not anyway. 
But if you feel free to give me a call, if I can answer it, I will answer it. And give me, ask, you know, fill you in anything you want. It should be a fun trip. Uh, praise God. Um, I, so, you know, this came to us, and you know, like I said, praise God for it. And right now, it's just boys, ages 10 to 14. Maybe next year it could be girls too. Maybe they expand the ages. We just want to get the kids to see another point of view. Get them out of the city. That's right. Teach them about Jesus. Get them away from this all this nonsense that's going on with the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I mean, when we were growing up, when you had to beef with somebody, you had a little fist fight, and two weeks later you're best of friends. Now you get the beef, they shoot each other. No, we try to get away from that. Amen. We try to teach them something else. Amen. So I you know, praise God for this trip. You teach the kids, you know, get them out to the city, get them into fishing and teach them about Jesus and camping and enjoying and see there's more to life. Amen. Amen. So um, it's good for the kids, it'll be good for the parents, get the kids out of the house for a week. And um, like I said, if anything that is you're in need of the church will supply, but I need to know that right after church so we can get those supplies to you for the trip to the bus station tomorrow. Again, if you need me to, if you want me to take your kids, I have space for three kids. If you need me to take your kids, I can be, be here at 1145 tomorrow and I can drive to the bus. Amen. All right? Amen. That's, oh, one more thing. We need to forget about the building next door. The gentlemen who are in charge of knocking the building down, we have everything, pretty much we have everything else done. We just need the gentleman to knock the building down. Maybe not available until the middle of August, so I will contact with them in the middle of this month and praise God with God's help. Amen. And we God, hopefully by the end of this month, that building will be down. Amen. 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 And I think that's all I have to say. And I um, just want to thank God because none of this could be done without the Lord. Again, if anybody needs to, any brochures printed or anything, come see me right at the church and have more printed out. And suppliers, again, come see me or the pastor, and we will get those to you for tomorrow. Praise God. Amen. Amen. God is here. Amen. I think we have a pantry coming up this week. And guess who came back? Stacy. Text me and she, her text said, Pastor, I've been going a long time. Am I still a part of the pantry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're part of the pantry. <laughs> we missed you a lot. Amen. Amen. We, we like to uh, take time out and just leave time for somebody to give glory to God in, you know, in a unique way because we know that everybody's going through something. Amen. And then as we go through something, sometimes God tells us or gives us a word that encourages us. Not only that, He moves in our lives and in situations, and we just need for somebody to, you know, every week to tell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, brother Mike. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, last Sunday, I talked about my friend that was homeless. Uh, I want to thank everyone for their prayers. He got in the homeless shelter for veterans. They got his paperwork processed. Yeah. This young man, has been, they got him into Section 8 and everything. Mm -hmm. So now he's at the step to where he has to go find him a place. He's getting a help, got a health card coming to him, Amen. temporary food stamps. And I know that it was a prayer that we all shared together. But God is a good God. He takes care of those who are in need. And I just want to thank everybody for all the prayers that were sent out. A lot of you don't know, after church Sunday, a young lady approached me and said, God put it on her heart to bless my friend. And I'm not going to expose the amount of money, but she gave him enough money to get him some gas. Amen. Uh, he don't really like the food there, so he was able to survive for a week off that little bit of money she gave him. And I just want to thank everybody. And thank the man above. Yeah. This gentleman has been in my life since I was in elementary school, and that's well over 40 years, and we're still best friends. Yeah. I tried to get him here today, Pastor. I got him thinking about it. He started going to Bible studies there, and he's been to Bible studies before. He said that wasn't one for him. 
It was more like a complaint study. So I told him he's got to come to Bible study. So I'm working on him, Pastor. Hopefully next week he'll be here. Amen. So I just want to thank everybody and thank God above for everything he's done. Amen. I had a feeling I couldn't hold him back. <laughs> if you said you want to know what God does. <laughs> Is there anybody else? Randy? I know you asked me not to call him. That was You asked me not to call him. I thank God for this church that helped me out mentally and physically. I want to thank God for this church again. My pastor here always put me on the front row. Yeah. Call me a heathen. Stuff like that. I want to pray for you one day. <laughs> but uh, y'all know this is my home. Amen. Amen. Home. Love it. That's it. Amen. Sister God, do you want to give God glory? I just want to uh, stand and thank God um, for monitoring that. Yes. Between Monica and myself. And, um, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I just want to thank God. I said some things to her that I know I shouldn't say. Um, and I thank God. I've been praying that to the Lord for. Uh, give me the opportunity to say I'm sorry face to face I mean I called her and I said it to her but I wanted to say it face to face and the Lord gave me the opportunity today and I thank God she said she forgave me the day it happened but I still thank God that he allowed me to say I'm sorry uh, because we have to be careful with our witness you know we can get self in the way and we're all human and you know I, I thought I was good I mean I didn't think nobody could take me there but um, it happened, and um, you know, it, it humbled me to say, you know, Lord, please help me with my uh, attitude. Because prior to, you know, getting saved, you know, I wasn't a nice person. And um, I just thank God that He humbled me and that He allowed me to say I'm sorry and she would have gave me and um, pray my strength in Amen. 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 You really get a chance to. to Father, we exalt you today. Glorify your name. You don't like it. Only you can do. 
Father, we thank you for the praises that went up. We pray that, Lord God, you be pleased. Father, bless this man of God in his place, Lord God. Give him wisdom, Lord God, and knowledge, Father, of how to manage and run your house with him, Lord God. Even the people that you send to him, Lord God, that you be a shepherd of, Lord God. Give him unction, Lord God, and how to minister to each individual, Lord God. So, Father, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify you, we magnify you for what you're going to do in this place and in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Let us uh, quickly put the spotlight on Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Because he's the one that deserves all the glory. Yes. Now, now, now last week, we prayed for Dale. Yeah. Last week, when you look at Brother Mike, he was in love with his friend, but yet concerned. How does he look now? God is able. God is able. God is able. God is able. You heard the sister, Dottie, say she's been praying and asking God for an opportunity. Just a chance. Look at her now. God is able. See, God is able. There's somebody in this church who needs to know. No matter what it looks like. No matter what it seems like. No matter what people tell you. No matter how many times the devil has whispered in your ear. God is able. God is able. Yes, he is. Won't he do it? Yes, he is. I believe that there's one more person, and I believe that you know who you are. That you just need to just take a deep breath and say, "Okay, Lord. Okay, Lord. I'm gonna try you. I'm gonna do it your way." I'm going to have faith in you. And I'm not going to look at what I can see or what I think, but I'm just going to look at you. Yes. Is there one more person? Yes. Don't miss this opportunity. I got something to say. Amen. I know everybody knows my condition is not to see walking like I do. Um, I want to just give all praise to God. Amen. Because these doctors keep giving me their report. But I know a doctor, mm -hmm. right? There's bigger than what the doctors are telling me. And at first, I mean, I have to say this at first, uh, when I got my diagnosis, uh, uh, my faith was not strong. I was real weak. And uh, I've known God since I was 12 years old. Uh, the Bible says, Raise a child the way he will go, and his own he will not depart from it. So even though, you know, I went out for a little while and did what I uh, shouldn't have done. Uh, the purpose of this is to let somebody know no matter what you go through, all right, no matter what the doctors say, no matter what nobody says, God is bigger. Yeah. Because them doctors keep telling me I'm not gonna be able to walk, this is not gonna happen, I ain't gonna be able to sing, I'm not gonna be able to this and that. Mm -hmm. I trust Jesus. Yeah. And I know Jesus. And God is continuous to keep me in my body. I may have trouble walking, I may be in pain. But I still give all praises to God. Because oh yeah. he is so worthy to be praised. And sometimes you think that you've got the worst, the worst, the worst, or whatever is going on. All right. But if you just keep your hand in God's hand, all right. if you continue to trust God, okay. if you listen to God, yes. and the more I hurt, the more I pray. Right. So every time I feel a pain, I just, Lord, there's a leak in this building. Uh -huh. Lord, I thank you for who you are in my life. Uh -huh. Lord, I thank you for everything that you've done for me. Lord, I thank you for every ailment, every pain. Because when you're probably closer to him, sometimes we have to go through stuff. To 
And so we are praying to be closer to him. But we want to think everything is, if you got money and all this, you think everything is wonderful. Right. And we forget about who God is. All right. But we have to keep remembering who God is. All right. And how he loves us. How he cares for us. How he takes right. care of us. We wake up in the morning with breath in our body. Yes. If you can't do nothing, we just wave your hand, wave your hand. Just give him away. Give him away. God, I thank you. God, I praise you. God, I love you. I thank God for every, every, everything. And believe me, this time I don't got no money. You know, I ain't got the, uh, the financial things. I ain't got the, the physical uh, things you see that you know, we get blessings from. But I'm so blessed. I am so blessed. Every day I have a penny, I am blessed. And I took all that for granted because God gave me the best of all he had to offer. For me at that time. And I didn't praise him. I wouldn't give he gave me a brand new car with 17 miles on it. I wouldn't give people right to church. My car was too good for certain people getting my car. God said, okay, I'll take that back. I'm gonna take And he did just that. So just know you need to give God everything. So see everything we have belongs to him anyway. So we just even our children. Our children belong to God. So everything that you take for granted is God. Everything is God. Everything. So just continue to worship, continue to praise him, continue to glorify him. And especially when you're going through a storm, really give him the first thing. So I'm just saying that I love God and I know God loves me. Amen. That's, that's what's most important to me, that God loves me. Amen. And I'm going to show him love. I'm not going to disrespect him, make him angry, nothing. I just want to show God that, God, I love you. Amen. God, I thank you. God, I praise you. God, I worship you. Amen. So y'all just continue to pray my strength in God. Amen. And I'm going to continue to move on this side with him. And continue to listen to him and do what he tells me to do. Amen. And y'all, I pray everything for everybody here. I love y'all. Amen. Amen. You know, God, God has, has been so good to us. Yes. You know, I was, I was listening to Sister Donnie, and I, and I think that that's, a, that's absolutely part of being a virtuous woman. Yes. It's, it's, it's to um, be able to to recognize and to know that we are not flawless. We're all fallible. We all fall short. Sometimes we want to get up on our high horse, and we want to think that we know all and be wise and otherwise. But today, I pray for each and every one of us. Lord, I just want to thank you, Father. I want to start off with thanking you, the Most High, Jesus. Lord, you, 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 the things that you do, you don't have to do, Father. Lord, I want, I want you to strengthen our sister, Desi. Lord, just give her the strength. And just, just give her the power of this power in your name, Father. You know, I know you're the doctor of doctors. Lord, I know that you can do because you said high and you look low, Father. And you hold true to your word, Father. You said that you wouldn't put more on us than we can bear. Yes. Lord, I just want to thank you, Father, for we're asking you in, in advance, just, just for a healing, Father. Just for a good healing. Work through the doctors. Work through the practitioners. Work through the hospitals. Work through the lab, Father. Do what you have to do, Lord, so you can heal her, Father, because we know that all of that knowledge and that wisdom comes through you, Father. So, Lord, ultimately, we know that you're, you're the fixer. You're the great I am. Lord, so just keep her uplifted, Father. Let her be encouraged, Father. Yes, God. And let's fight for another day's journey. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Yeah. 
to see who in the slide up under the bus did.
us to continue on in this race that we're a part of. And and and, and deep in my heart I, I want to see so much more. Yes. I, I want I want to I want to see what it looks like to be in heaven. I want to see Jesus face yes. to face. I want I want I want to get so close to God that I can touch him and feel him but the Bible says not yet. Mm-hmm. Not yet not yet not yet not yet. But but it's coming, y'all. It's coming. Yes. yes. And, 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 and and the Bible says, and and, and it, it's like taking a glass and trying to look through it. You can you can kind of see shadows, and you can some, kind of see something that's not focused. You can't see it. And the, and, the, and and the Bible says, for for now we see as though through a glass. We can't see all that God has for us. Mm-hmm. We can't see the promises, the blessings. Mm-hmm. We can't see heaven. We can't see eternity. We can't see immortality. We, we can't see what it's going to be like to, to, to where this body is no longer corruptible. Yes, yes. We can't see that yet, but, but we know it's coming. We can. Yes. It's kind of like looking through a, a, a hole in, in, in the wall. You can't see it all yet, but mm-hmm. the Bible says that for we, 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 we see as through a glass darkly, mm-hmm. but then face to face. So one day we're going to see face to face, but he says, well, I know a part. We just know a little part of this. Mm-hmm. But there shall come a time when I'm known, even though, even as I am known. In other words, one day we're going to know it all. We're going to know all that God has for us. We can't see that yet. We're not ready for it. It's not time yet. But one day it's all going to be made clear. Someday it's all this is going to be made clear. We're going to understand it all. But and the Bible goes on to say, and now by the faith. And not only faith, but hope. But not only hope, but love. Amen. These three. Mm-hmm. Well, the greatest of these is love. Last week we talked about faith. Mm-hmm. And faith is just all faith is is, mm-hmm. is giving God something that he can use to move in our lives. Mm-hmm. Faith is n- nothing more than giving God something that he can use to move in our lives. Mm-hmm. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. Mm-hmm. So it takes faith to please God. Amen. And faith is, 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 as the Bible says in Hebrews 11, 1, says faith is a substance of things hoped for. Mm-hmm. And the evidence of things I've seen. So faith is something. That we might can't see it, but it is really something. Yes. Right? And that faith that we that is something is used to bring something into existence. Mm-hmm. So all faith is is just giving God something that he can use. Mm-hmm. In fact, if you don't have faith, you can't be saved. Mm-hmm. Right. If you don't have faith to believe in Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. you can't be saved. Mm-hmm. I was a uh, Bible study uh, a while back, a long time ago, uh, it just so happened that that Bible study there was uh, there was several young people in the, in the church, and, and we were teaching about faith and all that stuff. And, and I remember um, that I had some candy, and you know I'm teaching and teaching and teaching, and and, and there was uh, I think there were three or four young people in, in, the, in the church on our Bible study, and uh, you know kids like candy. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Thank you. So, uh, what I did was I, I told this one, this one young person. I said, and I opened my hands, right, right, and I said, I have some candy. Do you want it? And the person didn't see with their eyes that I had candy, and they said no. Right. 
But somebody that was with him, as soon as that person heard me say candy, they got up and said, yeah, I want it. Yep. Okay. So one person had faith, faith to believe in something that they couldn't see. All right. Right? And that's what faith is, believing in something you can't see. I can't see it right now. But it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. I just can't see it right now. So the person got up and they came to me. And the, the, the wonderful thing is, they didn't look at my hands to see if I had candy in my hands. They looked at me to see if I was trustworthy. Right. So when we have faith, it's not having faith in the stuff. It's having faith in the stuff giver. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's right. You understand what I'm trying to say? Uh -huh. Faith is believing that God is going to do what He says He's going to do. That's right. That's and right. then He has power to do what He says He's going to do. Mm -hmm. So the whole time this person came up, they never looked to see if I had any candy in my hand. They just kept looking at me, trying to discern and believing that I was trustworthy to give them what I said. Mm -hmm. I, I gave the individual candy. But, the, but before I gave them candy, they stood right there and hopeful. They were hopeful. Preach pastor. That what? Mm -hmm. They were some candy. So they were looking like. Mm -hmm. First, they had faith to come up. Come on now. Right. right. Yep. And as soon as they came up, they were hopeful, waiting for me to give them candy. Mm -hmm. Faith plus hope. Mm -hmm. So I pulled out the candy. It was in my pocket. Gave them some. Skip right back to their seat. <laughs> I asked the same individual again. This time I pulled my sleeves up and emptied, emptied my pockets. I said, Do you want some candy? Give them a second chance. The person said, Hmm. Because they couldn't see anything. When you roll your sleeves up, there's no possible way that you have candy. Right? My pockets are out. There's no way you have candy. So the person came up. I said, come on, I guess you can. Nope. I can't see it. If I can't see it, I don't believe it. All right. So they said, I said, come on, I have I really have it, right? When we're supposed to not trust what we see, mm -hmm. but trust the person mm -hmm. who has it. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Stop trusting what you see. That's right. That's right. And start trusting the God yes. that has it. Yes, Amen. that's right. Yes. That's what we, 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 we get confused. So, person didn't come up. You know, person didn't come up again. So, so there was another person there. I said, do you want some candy? Since this person didn't want it. And then they, they said, sure. I don't believe you have it, but come, I'll come up. So, they came up and I pulled it out of my pocket. Now, this time, the original person's upset because they're like, <laughs> Right? Uh-huh. You don't have to be jealous when God blesses somebody. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You don't have to be ble uh, uh, jealous when some God blesses somebody else. That's right. Because you can ask for it yourself. That's right. That's right. That's right. So now you give out two pieces of candy. This person didn't have, have any candy. So as 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 I did, I said, I still have more candy. You want it? Now, when you miss out on the blessing, sometimes you're discouraged. That's right. The person put their head down. I said, come on. Come on, I have candy. I said, I still have more candy. This time, I emptied my pocket. So the person has to totally trust now on what? Has to, they have to trust me now. Is this, is, is this pastor a... Randy's laughing because Randy wants to say it, but he's not going to say it. Is he a no good pastor that's lying to me, that's going to trick me, or does he really have him? I said, come on, because you have to encourage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. person takes all their strength to get up, and they slowly walk towards you. I said, come on, I'm encouraged. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got candy. Don't worry about it. Come on, I got it. Right? And this time, I pulled it from behind me. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Mm -hmm. The evidence of things mm -hmm. not seen. Mm -hmm. After you have faith in something, then you have hope in receiving what God has for you. Yes. Our hope 
is in Jesus Christ. And all the promises that he said that he's going to give each and every one of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. You've heard them, right? Mm -hmm. Eye has not seen. Mm -hmm. That's for me. Mm -hmm. Ear has not heard, right? Mm -hmm. That's for me. I can't see it. Mm -hmm. But I have faith to believe that it's there. And I'm sitting right here like the, the little person waiting for a candy light. Because mm -hmm. I know that, that, that my faith has set me up to uh, for now I'm just hopeful. I'm just yes, hopeful. Yes. I'm hopeful that God is going to rapture me up. I'm hopeful mm -hmm. that I'm going to see my loved ones. Yes. I'm hopeful that I'm going to be uh, I'm going to have a new body. I'm hopeful yes, that, that yes. my mind and my soul, I'm hopeful that I will be in a place forever mm -hmm. and ever mm -hmm. and ever right. for eternity. Mm -hmm. I'm hopeful. Mm -hmm. yes. And I know it's coming. So I'm just yes. like, I'm like, like a little kid, like, just waiting. Mm -hmm. Right? I just can't wait. I, 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 know, mm -hmm. I, I know it's coming. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Hope. So that's the difference between faith. Faith is giving God something to work with. That's right? 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 Faith is waiting. Faith is saying, God, here, I believe you. I trust you. I trust your character. I know that you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Hope is, I can't wait to get it. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and we understand that you can't, that God is not going to give everybody everything you want. Mm -hmm. Because God doesn't, God knows that he can't give us all that we want. Mm -hmm. Because we'll be little spoiled kids. Yep. Mm -hmm. And God doesn't give us everything that we want because we won't even use it for the right thing. Mm -hmm. So, but 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 our faith, mm -hmm. right, is, is what begins the whole process. Yes. Turn your Bibles, please, to uh, uh, Romans chapter five, verse nine. Romans mm -hmm. five. So hope is a confident expectation, right? Amen? Amen. Hope is our confident expectation that God is going to give us what we ask for. And everybody in this room, your hope should be the same as my hope. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping, believing, that I'm, one day I'm going to stand face to face to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So if I'm hopeful that that's going to happen, I have faith that it's going to happen, I should be practicing my speech right now. Let me say, what am I going to say when I meet Jesus? Thank you. Thank you. What am I going to say when I meet Jesus? First thing that comes to my, my mind is, why me? Why me? Why, why did you say me? And I'm sure he'll say because I love you. Yes. Romans 5.1 yes. and, 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 and remember we can't see this clearly mm -hmm. it's just like you know, we can only see them but one day y'all we're going to be able to see this face to face mm -hmm. right. one of these days and the Bible goes on to say in Romans 5.1 therefore being justified in other words the Bible is saying you're innocent mm -hmm. by faith when you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, all the things you have ever done in your whole life, mm -hmm. past, present, future, mm -hmm. God took the blood and just erased it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can tell the people who really love God, they say, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. There's some people who don't understand that wiping your whole past means a whole lot. Mm -hmm. That means you are found innocent of all charges. Amen? Amen. Everything you've ever done. See, let, let me make this real for you. Okay, let me make, let me make this real for you. Let me let me let me let me make you feel this a little bit more, okay? Okay. So maybe then you'll say amen. Mm -hmm. If we put up everything you've ever done in your life right here, how long would you like for it to stay up there before we erase it with the blood? <laughs> Yeah, don't anybody, any volunteers? What? We just put your whole life, all the things you've done, right there. Then you would say what? Thank you, Lord. You'd be like, oh, thank you for the blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And if, and if we're embarrassed down here, what would it be like up there? Yes. Where we're on perfection. Uh -oh. But the moment you got said, the moment you, by faith, you believe in Jesus Christ, Jesus said this. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Y'all still ain't getting that. Jesus was just like this. He said, yes. erase. Yes. Not only the past, uh -huh. the present, Amen. and the future. Amen. Thank you. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace. In other words, between you and God, there is no more anger. Amen. Mm -hmm. When when God used to be mad at you and, and nothing would work, God says, no, there's peace now. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says we have peace with God through who? A lot, of, a lot of people think that when something bad happens to me, it's because God's trying to get me. Mm -hmm. No. That's not always the case. That's right. Sometimes things just happen. Mm -hmm. yep. if, 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 if you got 100,000 miles on your tires, guess what? <laughs> you have to change your tire. You know what I'm so don't be saying, God, God, why is God doing this to me? No. You, just, mm -hmm. you, didn't check, you didn't get any tires. You didn't rotate. Right? right? So don't always think that God is trying to get you. Right? Mm -hmm. The Bible says in verse 2, we also have access. Okay, access. What access means is we have the ability to go before God at any time, mm -hmm. anywhere. That's right. Mm -hmm. In other words, what you can do is you always have VIP status with God. Okay. Amen. Two o'clock in the morning, you can go to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes. You don't have to call the pastor. Mm -hmm. Three o'clock in the morning, you can go to Jesus. Mm -hmm. On your way to work, you can go to Jesus. Yes, yes. Right? Come on, come on. Amen. 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 So we have access. You have permanent access to Jesus Christ right now. Mm -hmm. Any kind of problem, any situation, go to mm -hmm. Jesus. Right? That's why we say pray without ceasing. That's, right. That's why when we pray, we expect God to, to answer. Right? Yeah, right. And He yeah. does. Look what the Bible says. The Bible says, "By whom also we have access by faith into this grace where we stand and rejoice in what." Hope of the glory of God. Yeah. Right? Amen? Amen. 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 And, I don't, I don't, and not only so, but we glory, glory in tribulations. Mm -hmm. That's my glory right there. Mm -hmm. In other words, I'm happy when problems come. Yes. That's what that's yes. it. Can I get amen? Amen. Y'all really saying what y'all saying? Yeah. So when, I, when a problem or a situation come up, I'm happy, right? Mm -hmm. I'm happier than I was. I'm happy. That's what it says. Yeah. supposed to be. <laughs> You're supposed to be happy when problems come. That's what the Bible says. Look what it says. It says, not only so, but we glory. That means in what? Tribulation. Tribulation is pressure. When my boss is getting on my nerve, I'm supposed to be smiling. Yes. When my husband is going, I don't have a <laughs> when your husband is getting on your nerves, mm -hmm. you'd be like, Yes, God is working it out. Yeah. God is doing something, right? Mm -hmm. It says, No, what do you say? Work, yeah. Look what the Bible says, verse 3 it says, And not only so, we glory, I'm happy. When my spouse gets on my last nerve, or my boss is acting crazy, mm -hmm. or, or my kids is going nuts, or my neighbors is letting their dog in my yard, uh -oh. knowing that tribulation worketh patience. When I'm going through something, what God is teaching me to do is wait on Him. That's it. That's right, yeah. Amen. When I'm going through something, what the Bible is saying is wait on. Jesus. Amen. Don't try to fix the problem yourself. That's right. Wait on Jesus. Right? Amen. That's what the Bible says. Patience. Patience means even though you want to do something, you can't. Amen. Right? You ever, you ever, you ever have like a little child and, and, and they won't sit down and you try to teach them to sit down? Mm -hmm. It's hard, right? Mm -hmm. They get, they kick their feet and they kick you and they look, they, they mm -hmm. wiggle, and they say, sister, sister, be patient, be patient, right? Mm -hmm. That's what God is doing with us. Just look, I'm in control. That's right. Just be patient. That's right. What are you worried about? Mm -hmm. The Bible says God has given us all power. God has been given all power. Jesus Christ has been given all power in heaven. Amen. How much is all? All. Oh. So God is in control. Yeah. 
It's what the Bible says. The Bible goes on to say, now see, don't, I'll tell you this, don't pray for patience. Oh, no. Amen. <laughs> don't pray for patience. Because mm -hmm. if you pray for patience, God gives you patience, yeah. it comes with tribulation. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says patience is your experience. The longer you wait, the better you get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The longer you wait, the longer you are patient with God, the more you get to learn about who he is. In other words, it builds a relationship with you and God. Mm -hmm. The Bible goes on to say, and experience hope. Hope is that. Yeah. That anticipation, knowing that God is going to work it out. Amen. Yeah. No, I, 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 um, I, I had a, I had a, I had a, a boss who was not a Christian. You see me taking a deep breath? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really thought that you could reach anybody mm -hmm. with enough time, patience, and, and love, and tell them about the word of God. But this person was on the fast track up mm -hmm. and was and was didn't care about anybody else except for the boss. I mean, he just ran rampant over everybody. And he was just, it was it was just tough to deal with this individual. Amen? Amen. And, and I remember going to God because I wanted to, I remember asking God for patience. Uh -oh. Right? Mm -hmm. Asking God for patience with this individual. And, 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 and said, Lord, I, I don't know what you're trying to do with this individual. Be patient. Be patient. The, the guy tried to get me fired twice. Mm. And then he left. And, and the whole time that I'm going through this with this individual, God says, God will tell me the same thing over and over. I got this. Wait and see what I'm going to do to him. All you got to do is just be patient. Yeah. And it's hard to have patience sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell you what God did to this individual. God had God let him leave the job. And he got another job, and when he got another job, he got fired from that job. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I don't wish bad things on people, but the whole time God was telling me, I got it. Mm -hmm. I'm in control. Wait and see what I do to this individual. And, and, and that's not even all of it. If I told you all the other things that God done to this person, and it's still doing this person. And I'm, what I'm hoping is God is bringing uh, tribulation in his life. To bring him patience, mm -hmm. to bring him back to God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. But the Bible goes on to say that uh, patience, this patience, when God teaches us patience, brings experience. And then when we get to, uh, into an understanding of who God is, it brings hope. The Bible finally says, and hope make him not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given us. What up? I believe God is telling us today, y'all, is we don't see it all yet. We can't see it all. But he's given us faith to trust him. He's given us hope to understand that he's going to work it out and all you got to do is just wait. And next week is going to be about love. So we've done faith, we've done hope, and next week is going to be about love. So I'm asking you right now in the name of Jesus just to hold on. Amen. You don't see it yet. In fact, when we get to heaven, we look around. What do you think we're gonna say? I was I was listening to this pastor who uh, was preaching a, a, a message. Yeah, he, he's not really a pastor. He's a he's more of an evangelist. And uh, he said that he had a best friend that that got sick, and he, he knew this guy for four years of his life over four years of his life, and this guy got sick, and, and he was uh, way across the world, and he hurried to go back to see this guy who was in a hospital, and, and he rushed back, and the guy was on his deathbed, and, and as soon as he got there, uh, the, the doctor told him that the, his friend didn't have much to live, much time to live, and he's there praying, and he's waiting, and he's hoping that God's going to change the situation, but God did not change the situation. God allowed this man to sleep. 
And right before the guy slept, the guy opened his eyes. And God allowed him to see into heaven. And the guy says, wow. It's just like the Bible says. And he could see things he's never seen before and hear things he's never heard before. And he saw his loved ones. And the Bible says we only see dimly right now. Mm -hmm. But one day we're going to see all of this face to face. God is able to change any situation, any circumstances. Mm -hmm. but if you have faith, just now hold on to your hope. And, 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 and hope just means just wait on you with a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And don't listen to anybody else. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? May God bless you. May God keep you. And Brother Eric, you want to pray for us? And then we're going to have communion, and we're going to ask uh, Brother Wes if he can. Will you pray for us? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor, we thank you for the Lord. We hope every one of us is going to get fit. We want to get patient and wait. Uh, let me say this. Yesterday I was, I was in front of the church and uh, I think right around there is a little on depot right I was, uh, across the street. And I saw a couple of cars parking in front of the church. So when I came from the Home Depot, I drove here, and when I would turn it in, the other guy would put him on his shirt down and say, Oh, that's the same thing I'm here for. They ain't sharing food with him. I said, oh, Okay, and I changed the job. I was in church. So most people come here on the Sunday where they are scared to get food and stuff, but they go and they go and down. I mean, sometimes we don't track actual, the actual dip for the sharing of the food. Some people just come every Saturday hoping that I hope I will eat something. Mm -hmm. We just got to thank God, thank you for the church, for the church is making a great impact in people's lives. Mm -hmm. Putting food on the table, hundreds of families. Just want to tell God, thank you, Dr. Larry. I don't know how it goes, but I just want to tell God, thank you, thank you, this morning. This day, Daddy God, I'm coming to your present, and we we'll know. With faith, we might go with the same as we walk in here. We know that you're going to put it on the path. That we're going to get patient and wait for it. We get hopeful. Father God, we give you our precious and honor because we belong to you. You are the God of yesterday, today, and forever. If God has said yes, if all men say no this morning, right now in our lives, we know that you always say yes for everything that we're hopeful. We pray for that we know we're going to do. And everything you tell us that you're going to do for our body, Jesus. We give you all the praises and honor because we know it's going to be possible. Father God, members are still at home and we know they still got faith in you. Father God, we just want you to be. We just want you to give them all the faith and study that they ask you for, Daddy Jesus. People in the church, people in the hospital, people in the, uh, on the hospital bed, Daddy Jesus, we just want you to go and touch people because they're laying right there. Father God, helpless and they know that you got. You know that you can just like one touch on the head, Father God, they can be saved. Father God, that's the faith we're talking about, Father God. People in jail, I always say that people in jail are not there for the kind of purpose that they are there for. When you know that Daddy Jesus, you know the heart, we just want you that one touch, that people are going to be saved, Daddy God. This morning we ask you, Father God, that you be able to lift up our faith in you, Daddy Jesus. But I feel the protection of the God of the kept the same little one third for us. Father God, I'm living this place, not living the present.
هستم و کامل داره و کامل داره هستم.